Welcome back to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite time to be Mars and Shanti. We're doing something extra special today, which, which is Sloppy Joe's. Joe's. Uh, this is a Shanti recipe. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Lucky for you guys. Yes, I just posted this on Saturday, so make sure you go check it out. Is it is an instant pot recipe, but if you don't have an instant pot, you could make it on the stove top. I just haven't adapted it yet, so. But yeah, and you should probably just buy an instant pot because it's Best been a life-changing <laughs> thing in Chantal's I life. I use it every day. <laughs> but yeah, so these are lentil sloppy joes, and also on the side here, we have some chap. Brittany's favorite. Chaps. I got some pot chips and got some ruffles. I also got some dip because I'm a disgusting human and I love this stuff. I don't know why. And I'm also drinking some blackberry lemonade. Look at this beautiful color. It is so pretty. I know. I'm just drinking water. Do you believe that water with a higher pH is better for you? Um, yeah, me and Colin buy alkaline water. That's all I drink. Is that higher pH? It's like 9.5 pH. If you guys uh, can tell, Actually, I don't know. Do I sound stuffed up still? You sound really stuffed up. Really? Yeah, I thought no I sounded way. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I sounded better. You sound like your nose is blood. Better than like the last couple days. Yeah, <laughs> you. I'm like impressed. So Brittany has the flu if you've been following her snaps and, and stuff. Let me just tell you guys, like she is like not a complainer. I feel like... And <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But when I'm around a lot of people, they are like so dramatic and like you were not dramatic at all. Like really? Yeah, you were like, I don't feel good. But like you were not, I was, it was just like any other day except you were like quiet and like laying around a lot. Well, you didn't see me on Sunday. Sunday was the worst peak of it. Sickness and Chantal was still babysitting. I texted you at like, what, 12? And I was like, hey, could you bring me some home, some drugs? <laughs> and you're like, I don't get home till 11. I was like, that's fine. I just can't leave my bed. So I literally slept on and off for. 24 hours on Sunday <coughs> And then when you came home, I was like I was doing that thing where I had the chills, but I was like sweating, but I was so cold. It was terrible I still feel a little shitty like this is The most I probably will eaten since Saturday. Yeah, um, but you had a quick recovery. Yeah, well, I really like Try like I slept so much you guys sleep is the key to everything. I and I only slept for 24 hours like on and off that day. Then I took the drugs you gave me and then I slept for, I think for straight like 18 hours. I'm still very snotty, sorry. It's annoying or if I have to <coughs> cough every once in a while. I just hold my breath. Uh, anyway, should we get into eating? Yeah. Brittany hasn't had like a meal in like a week. Every time I try to eat, it's just, well, you know what's funny? Sorry, before we start eating, I always thought, and I think this is like a very common thing that like people force themselves to eat when they're sick. And I was like, that first day, I was not hungry at all. I was so uncomfortable, like, in my own body. And I was like, just bring home some chicken noodle soup. Like, I should force myself to eat it. And Chantal told me that you read an article, right? Yeah. That was like, your body doesn't want to eat because it doesn't want that work of digesting the food because it's working so hard to make you better. Yeah, it's better to, if you're not hungry, like, listen to your body. Yeah. Like, you're not Which, hungry for a reason. I thought it was really interesting because it made me feel okay not eating. Yeah. Because I And always, you like, recovered so quickly, too. Yeah. Like the first like two days, I have to honestly like Sunday Monday I like didn't eat. I just drank so much tea and water, and I like really couldn't eat. Yeah, I've been slowly eating like again. I think hydration and sleep is like key. Yeah. Anyway, it's, well, it's over. this is gonna be our first bang ever since Brittany. No, we did Panera. Oh yeah, since flu. It's funny, I got home and for two days I was like gravy. I was like working out. I was like, oh my god. I was like, don't, don't you want to like relax? Like. Yeah. We went to a full screen party and then straight off the airplane. I had two of my suitcases. I went to a full screen party. Then we filmed the mukbang. We did like literally so many things. I was like, do you need a minute? Like you literally are fresh off an airplane for like two weeks straight. Yeah, that, that was stupid. I was like, I'm fine. I need to have so much work to do. All right. Well, I'm glad you're back in action. Let's dig in. Did you bring plates? Oh, I took, they're over there. This might be weird to some of you. I never really knew like what toppings you're supposed to put inside Sloppy Joes. By the way, this is a classic staple in my childhood. Like I grew up <coughs> loving Sloppy Joes. I didn't eat this that much growing up. I ate them all the time and I like begged for them. I was a weird ass child. <laughs> One of the weirdest foods that I love to eat is canned green beans from the cafeteria. That's so weird. I know. I've talked about it before, but I feel like you'd have to like torture me <laughs> to get, to get me to eat those. <laughs> but anyways, I have some red onions and some pickles. Lap 
love pickles. Yeah, and this these taste so good on a sloppy joe. So if you guys mm. eat sloppy joes, try it out. Let me know how you like it. I don't know how long after you get the flu you're still contagious. Like I feel like I'm on the up and up, but I'm still not hunted. So yeah. I don't wanna. Well, when Colin had the flu, I actually looked it up. If you touch something, the flu virus stays alive for I think like tw 24 hours maybe, and then it dies after that. Okay, that's still a pretty long life. Hey, I've been cleaning my room. I'm gonna clean my bathroom after we do this. I just wanna wipe down all the surfaces, I clean the blankets that I sweat in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm surprised when Colin had the flu, I was literally sleeping in the same Ooh, bed as him. Like, my body was like swimming next to his flu sweat. I can't believe you, sl you, sl you slept next to him because I didn't know he had for the, the first three nights, I woke up drenched. He was, no, like we were up like swimming. Yeah. No, but you I know felt bad being like, can you go sleep on the couch? Yeah. This was a 10 minute long intro. Sorry guys. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Ooh, I love the pickle. I love the pickle. It's all over my face already. I know, here's some napkins. How was the flavor? So good. Really? Actually. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like I like these better than regular sloppy joes. I haven't had regular sloppy joes in a really long time, so I, I can't really remember to compare it. Me either, but I just remember not really liking them. I used to love them. Mmm. <laughs> wow. I love the, like, raw onion, also. I know, my, my key powder escaped. Mm, I'm gonna open some chips. I could eat this in, like, two seconds. Mmm. Mm. I had, like, a half a plate of rice earlier. And then... I was driving home from doing my taxes and I texted Chantal and I was like, I'm actually hungry. I'm so excited. Yeah. These are tangy barbecue pop chip with ridges. Excuse me, sir. I oh. love pop chips. You need to get in the middle. Come on. Lately, Pyro has been sitting on my oh, shoulder. Wow. <laughs> I don't like this and he was like gonna like Oh pounce. my god. He does that thing where his head goes, yeah, <laughs> quivers. Newly open chips. Anytime I eat pop chips, it just reminds me of Mommy Chang because she had like a brand deal with pop chips one time and they sent her like a huge box. <gasps> I, I want a brand deal with pop chips. Same. My boo should just eat them in all of our videos. Mm. Can I try a, a Ridges? Oh, of course. You want to try a pop chip? Yeah. These are very barbecue. So I went to uh, CVS. Oh, I like them. They're more flavorful than most pop chips. Yeah, they are. I went to CVS to get his chips. And she was like, okay, I want pop chips. Whatever flavor. And they had barbecue or tangy barbecue. I was like, okay, CVS, like. I would love to like compare the taste differences. I know. If you know too. But this one said it had 60% more chips. Oh, so. yeah, you love that. Mmm. Sloppy Joe's so sloppy. Are so sloppy. Oh my god, you guys have to hear this story. So I quoted Billy Madison. New <laughs> York. Have some more sloppy Joe's. I made them extra sloppy for you. Have some more sloppy Joe's. <laughs> and Brittany had no idea what I was talking about. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Billy Madison. Billy Madison was the movie of my childhood, strangely enough. I don't know how I missed it. I know, I feel like it'd be a movie that you would like. I also still haven't seen Zoolander, and so many people are like, that's gonna be your favorite movie ever, and I'm like, okay. Wait, I've never seen Zoolander either. Really? Maybe? Oh my god. What do you guys think about this video? Me and you do watch Zoolander together for the first time and do like a review of it for a mukbang. Boop, boop, boop. People love that movie. You know what else is really sad, but I've never watched all the way through? Awesome Powers. Oh my god. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Colin is obsessed with it and like quotes it all the time and thinks it's the best movie in the world. Isn't that right? Okay. No, Max actually gets like literally mad at me. 
by the lack of movies that I've seen. But we were dancing gals growing up. I didn't have time to watch movies. Yeah. That's a busy beat. Honestly, my family only owned like five movies. And like, we would go to like Blockbuster and like rent VHSs, but for the most part, we would just like rotate the same like four or five movies. And Billy Madison was in the mix. Uh -huh. Billy Madison, Princess Diaries, mm -hmm. Matilda, I probably have watched like at least 30 times in my childhood. Um, what are some other ones we had? Princess Diary was a big one. I loved that movie. Top Gun in my family, Air Force. I've never seen Top Gun either. I think I own it. I don't, actually, I don't know if I own it here. Yeah, when you and Max dressed up as them, I was like, I don't even know who you are. <laughs> oh my God, those costumes are so great. Well, we have a fun topic for you guys. Mm -hmm. Since it is Coachella weekend, this past weekend, and then it's gonna be this following weekend. Mm -hmm. We're in the midst of Coachella. I wonder if the rest of the world cares about Coachella as much as California cares about Coachella. Yeah, I didn't really think it was a big thing until I moved out here. Mm -hmm. I really didn't. Mm -mm. We were thinking since it's that Coachella time, and this year we're not going. Yeah, we went last year, it was so fun. But we could talk about like concerts we've been to, and like shows we've seen. Yeah, because I think it was actually requested at one point. I think someone commented it like a really long time ago. Like talk about concerts you've been to. Yeah. And I have actually just one hilarious concert story. And then we can just talk about like other concerts that we've been to. I have a number of them. How about you tell yours? I, I, I almost just choked. I could think about one. When we were living in Pittsburgh, tickets at the, what's that concert hall that everybody would go to? I know you're talking about the North Shore. Yeah. But anyways, tickets in Pittsburgh, I think it was a deal through our school. We got concert tickets for like $17. And so when I was in Pittsburgh, I went to the most concerts I've ever been to. Like, <coughs> Wait, I didn't know about that deal. Yeah, you could get like extreme discount tickets. Oh my God. And I was gypped. Yeah. I didn't go to any concerts in Pittsburgh. It was the best. Um, I'm trying, I think, I know I've seen at least like five people in Pittsburgh. I can't, I need to like remember. We saw Dr. Dog, which is one of my favorite bands, two times in Pittsburgh, I think. I don't even know who that is. Oh my God, I love them. And cannot remember this one band that we saw for the life of me. They have one hit song and I'm gonna remember it after this bang. But we also saw Slightly Stupid, I remember. That was really fun. I've heard they're really fun. One story time that I wanted to tell you guys about, we saw, it was me and my BFF Vicky went to well, we were living in Pittsburgh for the summer that before I moved here, and we went to a Wiz Khalifa Fallout Boy concert, and then there was another band there too, but I don't remember. We lived in like Oakland, South Oakland in Pittsburgh, if you're familiar with the area, and the concert was like wicked far away, like at least 20 miles, I want to say. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't like you could just like Uber there, we had to like drive, and it was a nighttime concert. Um, and we like had both worked in the morning and I was like, oh, so like we have plenty of time. Like we don't have to rush. Like we can like get ready. Like they have a Fall Boys the opener. Like we don't even want to see them. We just want to see Wiz. And so we're like, la 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 Fall Boy. <laughs> yeah, but we were like, just want to see Wiz so bad. Yeah. And so we're just like, la la la, taking our time. Like the drive was like at least 30 minutes away. And then we also didn't want to pay for alcohol there because we thought it would be so expensive. So we brought like two flasks of just straight like Burnett's vodka. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I was like, okay, we'll just like sneak this in the venue with us and like drink while we're watching Wiz Khalifa. And we show up, I force Vicky, who is wearing like, like high waist, like baggy shorts. I was like, just put this like in the front of your crotch. Like they're not gonna touch your vagina. Like it'll be fine. <laughs> And she was like, I really don't want to, like, I'm scared, blah, blah, blah. And I was wearing, like, tighter shorts, so, like, I couldn't, like, you would be able to see it. But she was wearing, like, <coughs> like jean shorts. And I forced her to put the flask, like, on top of her, like, <laughs> where the zipper is. And then we walk up, and what do you know? The lady feels up her vagina. No, she does it. Yeah. She was, like, literally just, like, went down. And was like, what's that? Like, right on her vagina. But I was like, they never do that. Well, yeah, I feel like they can't technically do that, can they? I don't know. She did. And she's like, what does that take it out? And she like pulled out her flask. Like, like, yeah, she was like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> and I was sitting there like, oops. 
But the lady was like, you have to get rid of this or we're gonna throw it away. And so I was like, okay, hold on. We go back to her car. I was like, we're gonna chug this. And so we take our flask and just like, this is the Shanti I wanna know. <laughs> I was crazy. <laughs> and we're just like passing it back and forth like so that we can drink it without having to throw it away. And then we finish it, go inside, and we get inside, everything's fine. We're like walking around, uh, looking for a place to stand, and Fall Out Boy is playing, and we're like, perfect, made it just in time, this is amazing timing. We listen to two songs, and then they turn the lights on and everybody leaves. And I was like, what the fuck is happening? Like, what is everyone doing? And Fall Out Boy was the closer, not the opener. And we had just chugged an entire flask of vodka. And like literally it had been like 15 minutes and me and Vicky were just like <laughs> What do we do now? Oh my god. Yeah, so wait was it, it was Wiz and then Fall Out Boy? Yeah, it was just somebody else before Wiz. There was definitely an opener I remember I just don't remember what it, who it was and I was like, oh, so if we get like there a little later We'll miss the opener. We'll get there right in time. Sounds <laughs> like you guys We totally <laughs> up and we like <laughs> these tickets were like, I don't know just such a waste of money That's so funny but yeah, then we just like sat there, just like sit in your car and like cry. <laughs> well, there was like concession stands, like picnic tables. We just like sat and like ate some food and then left. That sucks. Oh, I feel bad. I know. Isn't that horrible? I can picture like a tiny Shanti, like livid. <laughs> and like just Vicky was like mad at me too, because I was like, we got plenty of time. Like, don't worry about it. And then I forced her to get yelled at by the lady. I've snuck out called into a concert. When I was a sophomore in college, I was living, or the sophomore to. Freshman to sophomore year, I think it was, that I was doing the Cincinnati Ballet Summer Intensive, and I was living with my best friend, <coughs> and we were getting rowdy, and we went to a kidney, ch kidney, a kidney chesney, <laughs> kidney chesney, Kenny, Kenny chesney, why can't I say that, my nose, <laughs> I need to like, like, hockey, a uh, Kenny chesney concert, I don't even like Kenny chesney, oh no, who's that guy who's, what hurts the most? Mm. Is like so Rascal Flats. Oh, it was a Rascal Flats, like Kenny Chen, a bunch of like country people, whatever, concert in Ohio. I don't know any country music except that song I just <laughs> sang. <laughs> and so my friend was like, it's gonna be so fun. And we were going with her group of like high school friends. I was like, whatever. We snuck in a flask in the lining of her purse. Wow. There was like a cut, like, like her purse was old, so the lining was broke. She just slipped it in. Oh my past. I've heard of that. That's such a great idea. Because they don't, you don't carry your purse through the metal detector. They just open it and look inside. Yeah. So smart. But, you know, it wasn't that smart because we stuck in rum and it was hot as balls. I have pictures from that concert and we're all, we look like we like are in a rainstorm because we're so sweaty. Like our hair is drenched in sweat. It's like Ohio in the summer. And the, or the rum was warm and it tasted like sunscreen. Oh. And now to this day, still I cannot drink rum because it like reminds me of sunscreen even when it's cold. Ew. So gross. That's awful. <laughs> but you know, we drank it anyway. Anything to get drunk when you're 20. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh my God. What's the first concert you've ever been to? Blink-182. That's so fun. Uh -huh. I was um, either, I think it was sixth grade, sixth or seventh grade. And my friend took me, my friend's parents bought her tickets for her birthday. And we wrote Blink-182 and like Sharpie all over our arms. And we were like, ah! <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Literally going crazy. That same friend actually took me to a Hillary Duff concert too. Wow, we went to the best concert. Yeah. Which like, I was like, I don't even like Hillary Duff, but like I knew all of her songs. So you're a fan? Poser. Uh, so you're a fan? <laughs> yeah. It was so fun. It was in Hawaii too, it was like a huge arena. Whoa. Mm. All the concerts that we've been to. Mm. I'm trying to think. Well, I just saw uh, Maroon 5 at in San Antonio when I was working the uh, Fan Fest. They oh, have really? the music fest. I tried to see Panic at the Disco. I love Panic at the Disco. That's like my high school, like, ding, 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 ding. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I like, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, what? I like how their album and stuff. I love them. But they were on at 5 and I got off work at 6 and I was like, oh, maybe if I get out at 5.30, like, I can go. And so I asked my, like, boss and she's like, yeah, it's fine. I, like, ran out there. It's so hard to get from, like, the convention center to, like, the music thing. And I was, like, running, running, running. I can hear them playing. And by the time I got there, they ended their set because they went on early. And I was like, no, dreams crushed. I hate these kids. 
I hate everyone. <laughs> so sad. I just wanted to relive my high school. Yeah. Like, Max took me to Britney on my oh, yeah. birthday this year. That was like the best thing that's ever happened to me. Because I love Britney. Yeah, that was so amazing. Nostalgic. Wait, what's the like country concert that everybody goes to in Pittsburgh? What is it called? Cool, cool, cool. What? Kenny Chesney? It wasn't like a mix of people? It was just Kenny Chesney? Really? Kenny Chesney would sell out in Pittsburgh. It was one of our busiest days in McFadden's. Yeah, no, I would. that's what I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of myself looking at McFadden's. It was insane. People would go buck wild for Kenny Chesney. He was always sold out at like PNC Park where literally the Pirates play baseball. He just fill up a stadium. He's insane. I remember, it's really interesting, in college I really wanted to go to Lady Gaga, but her tickets were like $300 or something. <coughs> so I couldn't Damn. do it. <coughs> And now, that's last year, me and Chantal were front row for Lady Gaga. Yeah! At the Fed. The lineup this year is unbelievable. I don't know. Like, this is going to be the year to go. Last year, we went because I, I was working it, so we got to go for free as artists. But, yeah. We, we did not get the hookup this year. We might have got that hookup. Wait, I just thought of something so hilarious. I'm pretty sure it was a it was a Bright Eyes concert, and then maybe the shins opened for them no i don't think it was the shins it was someone else it is in boston and i was a high schooler and in my high school years i had a problem with narcolepsy like not legit but i would fall asleep in the worst places wait really i would fall asleep at parties i would fall asleep like when my friends were over like you I never just, told me this i would yeah it was a serious problem like my friends hate me for it <laughs> And like that's why Kathy when she was here, she's like, are you gonna fall asleep on me? Like every time she would hang out with me. Wait, that's so funny. Yeah, well the reason why. But like could you not wake up? Um, no, I would wake up, I think. Yeah, I would just pass out. Like on the spot? Because you know when narcolepsy, they're literally like, Ugh. Yeah, it wasn't that bad, but like definitely I would fall asleep in places that you should not be sleeping. For example, a concert. <laughs> 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 oh my god. How do you fall asleep at a concert? We were, it was, we were listening to the opener, who I cannot remember for the life of me. It's going to come to me once we stop filming. But we were just like chilling, listening to the opener. Like people were just like sitting around. It was like super not crowded at this point, I remember. And so me and my friends were just like sitting on a bench on the sidewall. And the music was just so soft and like peaceful. And I just leaned over my friend's shoulder and passed the out. Oh my god. Isn't that yeah. awful? No, that, who does that? <laughs> I'm kind of jealous. Like, I wish I could do that. Just like... No, it was a problem. I would like have to force myself to stay awake. Like, I'd be like, no, don't close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's crazy that you somewhere. can remember, like, I'm trying to fight it. Oh yeah, <coughs> it's bad. Well, you know why? But this is my theory. When I was in high school and middle school, I was prescribed Adderall, which is a whole nother story we can talk about. Which I think now looking back on it, it's like overprescribed. Yeah, way too overprescribed. That's a different topic for another day. Yeah. But yeah, I was prescribed Adderall and it just makes you like go, 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 go constantly, like adrenaline, like just, I don't know, makes you focus all day long. And then I would just have a hard crash when I wasn't taking it. And so I wouldn't take it on the weekends. And that's when I would like hang out with my friends and stuff. And I would just like want to sleep all the time. So that's, that's probably it. Yeah, that's the only thing I could think of. And like, I don't have a problem with that at all. Like, I could stay up like really late now because I don't take Adderall for the past like three years. Wait, no, a lot of them, that, like four years. But yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, Adderall, that's a whole conversation in itself. But yeah, that's why I would fall asleep all the time. That's so funny and also <laughs> like sad. I know. <laughs> and my friends like hated me. They were like, why are you so sleepy? Like, that's the fuck. <laughs> and I, I couldn't like control it. I was just like, Sorry. <laughs> Must sleep. Why would they be mad at you? That's sad. Yeah. I have a problem. <laughs> but yeah. Um Oh, I remember another concert I saw. Matt and Kim. You Who's that? You would know them if you heard them. And then also Maybe you've gone to more concerts because you just listen to more music than me. Oh, I haven't been to like any like big concerts like Justin Bieber or like Lady Well, I've seen Lady Gaga, but Whoops. Yeah, that was really fun. I've only been to concerts that I've like worked for free. <laughs> like technically, Ultra. Oh yeah. I've seen every big DJ in the world. Mm -hmm. Swedish House Mafia, Martin Garrix, Chain Smokers, oh, no, Galantis, Tiesto, um, Dash Berlin. 
Jaws. I've seen every DJ ever. I only know DJ Tiesto. You know, you know the Chainsmokers? Oh yeah, Chainsmokers. You know the other ones, so if you heard like... They all have like hit songs, but then nobody knows like... Their other songs? I've seen DJ Snake. Mmm! I think who played at a concert I was at in Miami. I mean a club. You in the middle. <laughs> I've been to Cross Festival. Oh yeah, it was in San Diego. That was actually one of the most fun, the most fun times I ever had. The most fun, the most fun time I ever had. <laughs> How can I say that better? One of the best times I ever had. Mm, that's better. Me and my friends rented like a house on the beach up there, and then we like just Ubered to the concert, and it was really fun. And like the the way they set up the stage was like the sun was setting behind. But you could see the sunset like through the stage. Wow. So it was really pretty. Was it hard to look at? Like your eyes were burning? No, it was really soft. Hmm. Maybe it was cloudy. I don't know. I just remember being like so pink and purple and I was like, wow, the sky. It's so beautiful. Who was there? I don't remember any of the DJs at all. Hmm. Couldn't tell you. They were all like trance, like mm. underground, not really like mainstream people. Oh, I just went to Aaron Styles. It's not really a concert, it's a festival. Air and Styles, like air, as in like snowboarders and skateboarders oh. and styles, like music. And I saw um, Tanache. Love her. Loved her. I had forced Max to go with me because nobody else liked her. And I was like, I can't eat anymore, I'm sorry. It's okay. I feel, I feel like I let you down. Maybe you don't eat? Yeah. No, I feel like I'm like a I'm not, badass. I'm not holding my weight. <laughs> no. Well, I, normally I could, it's just like, I think my stomach shrank. A little flu girl. Who else got the flu? Comment below. Oh, we forgot to say, if you're new here, welcome. We are Mukbang Monday. We post videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and they're always cooking, recipes, uh, eating, mukbang, and a fun chit chat for you guys to join in on. Uh -huh. And if you're returning, we love you. Thank you for coming back. Mm -hmm. And if that sounds good to you guys, and you want to be part of the Mukbang Monday fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button before you leave. And comment below uh, what concerts you guys have been to, what's your favorite, Yeah. what you would recommend us to go to. Because sometimes like people who aren't as big are actually more fun to see, I feel like. Yeah! You know, totes. Um, <coughs> comment below if you have ever fallen asleep at a concert. I think I'm the only person <laughs> in the world. Well anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us. We love you guys so much. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> Mukbang Monday out! <laughs>